On today's episode of Wild Takes, we are back. We have the full crew that we used to assemble all the time. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the coaching changes, the state of the Minnesota Wild. Stick taps, take a lap. We're going to give you our Wild Take. And then on top of that, too, we're going to talk about the future of the Wild Takes podcast. Tune into this episode now. But first, I want to tell you about Underdog Fantasy Sports. I want to say about the easiest way to get some action on sports, and it's Underdog Fantasy and their pick em game. Just pick higher or lower on your favorite or least favorite player stats, and you can win up to 20 times your money in a single night. Take the Kyrell points. Take the Boldy points. He's on a heater. Um, Underdog keeps it super simple with their easy-to-use website and mobile apps. Pick between two to five players to fill out your pick em entry. Get every pick right and take home some cold, hard cash. Use the code 10K and get your first deposit doubled up to $100 by Underdog. Could even be $500. I don't know, $100, $500. Either way, double your deposit code 10K. Once again, that's 10K on the Underdog app or go to www.underdogfantasy.com or click the link below to get your first deposit doubled on Underdog today. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Wild Takes. I am your host, Marlo. Joined with me today, Zooch, the usual suspect. We got producer Cam back, a full crew. Yes. We've missed out on a little bit of like back and forth that we used to have as well, mm-hmm. too. I missed the fun times with the guys. To give you guys the a boys. breakdown, nothing fun, nothing entertaining. I got a bad back, four bad discs, so I end up having to get an injection in my spine. That is all taken care of. I'm still in a lot of pain, but I'm going to power through with uh, with you boys. And I'm happy to be back. And I came back at a perfect time. Minnesota Wild, buzzing right now. We're hot. It's cool. It, have we have we been able to say we're hot yet this year? I don't no. think so. We, we got, started off with a couple wins, but that's it. Like, it or I mean, Zush, there is a fire behind you, so you yeah, might be yeah. hot. We or got the hot. little Yule log on. It's, yep. it's symbolic. You're welcome. Yes. We we are artsy. We are deep in these in Lower Town St. Paul. It's it's <laughs> nice to see. We didn't think that the John Hines hire would make too much of a difference, and who knows? It's still. Might not mean anything, yeah. but we're four and zero since we hired him. So I mean, good we, things. We could probably honestly just dive right into the coach yeah. talk, right? So yeah. obviously, Minnesota Wild taking off uh, four, five wins. Four wins? Five. Five, five wins gonna since be, the hiring. Going to be five. Going to be five. <laughs> <laughs> so John Hyde's hired as your head coach, and immediately, this is going to be the fun part, is because now we get to do the reflection part. I'm glad that I didn't get on a podcast prior to this moment, because I would have just probably went off and then looked like an idiot. And we talked about this in, I believe, in episode one or episode two that you and I did, where I was like, if you don't give opinions, people can't correct you. That's true. Um, and so <laughs> we're looking at it, hindsight. John Hines, people lost their damn minds. Oh, they did not like it. And I'm going to be honest with you, credit to me, giving myself credit, that I actually wasn't as big of a fan of the hire. I wasn't as upset as most people No, you weren't. Um, But it was one of those things where I was like, I don't, I like I knew he wanted to get his guy. I mm-hmm. even in our chat I said right. that I believe we're gonna make it to the end of the year and no matter what it was gonna be Dean unless we had a sixth season again. That's gonna yes. be like the only difference here, um, that we would end up making that transition. But I didn't expect John Hines to be that guy. I didn't expect they just hired a new coach. They didn't even go intern route. Most teams yeah. go, Hey, we're gonna you know, as Cam mentioned on one of the pods, he I mean, we all thought maybe Darby gets his his chance <laughs> at interim head. He was Cam, you were fucking close. I'll, I'll tell you right now. Uh, in case you didn't know, Darby Hendrickson's one of my best friends. Okay. Um, he's going to give me skating lessons one of these Ooh, days. So for content, yeah. So he 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 uh, promised me actually. Um, so when I heard that Everson got fired, my fucking like my text was ready. I was about to text Darby as soon as he, like they named <laughs> yeah. him the interim head coach, and then it just I had to delete it. Well, it sucked. He cl- they had to have been. Hines had to have been on the short list of names that they were like, all right, if Dino goes, Hines, you're, yeah. you're up, man. Let's it, go. It feels like something's been cooking for a while, mm-hmm. right? Because it mm-hmm. was, it wasn't. There wasn't a long hesitation. There wasn't no. a. I think it was. It, it, we thought I mean, he the, might get another game. Yeah, he didn't the, even get another game. Yeah, right. And the writing was on the wall as well, too, because as we heard from Elu's Russo's interview, mm-hmm. it said that they had walked into the room and it was immediately he goes, "You're firing me, boss." Yeah, like yeah, they was, knew. I, I watched that interview. I think it was actually Darren Wolfson That's that did that. Thank but you. yeah, it was crazy. He's like. Yeah, I walked into the office. Um, I saw the look on his face. He's like, "You're firing me, aren't you?" And then they both just started crying. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. What's yeah. what would if what situation would I pull you into my office, Cam, and you would cry? Well, you don't have an office, and <laughs> this, <laughs> and then also it would probably be that you are putting me up for adoption because you are my dad. Okay, 
that you'd cry? I would cry. All right. I respect that. What, no, what this this got derailed very quickly. <laughs> it just got sad. Actually, <laughs> everyone honest, at home was like, "What?" Honest answer it would be, even though I don't think you have the authority to do this, it would be you're kicking me out of 10k. I Ooh, I, you think I'm going to be the one to fire you? I, I don't think you would be. No. Mm. <laughs> who would, well, personally, that is a good question. Who, who would, would be the guy? Cam? Who would be the guy to fire Cam? Hey, for, make sure you hit the poll below. You know who what? Fire Cam? You know what? I, I guarantee <laughs> you, since I know I know us well enough, it would be pulling straws. <laughs> You'd yeah. be like, "All right, guys, we got to yeah. pull straws because I mean, we love Cam." I think I'm the only person who has a history of actually firing people i think you probably i don't think i'd fire you <laughs> no you wouldn't i would treat you like a old yeller i would put you, you out very quick and, and then swiftly. At, and then at the end you'd be like i'm just kidding nah, I'm just jk with you. lol try to be give me cute. that nah, i'm just <laughs> <Give me> joking <laughs> <laughs> um cam real quick before you move on or continue to talk to this john Hines song mm-hmm. uh, john john, uh, john Hines, Hines talk jesus christ give me yep. five facts about john Hines. go uh john Hines got fired by the predators in mm-hmm. may yep um also got fired by detroit mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. yes before then Pretty sure that's correct. It was the Devils. Oh, maybe yeah. it was the Devils. Yeah, Anyways, it was a red yeah, team. Two red right. team. Two right. Close two right. enough. Two it was right. close. Um, has coached more than two hockey teams. He has. Um, John Hines has no hair. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, uh, that counts. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. John Hines has led us to a four zero start. Cam. Respect. That's good. Let's work. Respect. Right? Uh, I had some hey, actual you know, facts he, in there. And, and honestly, he had a red team from the Eastern Conference. So I thought he was know, at Detroit. No. No. New Jersey, was which, the by the way, I actually thought about doing a bit here, and I was just gonna do it at random, where I was gonna <laughs> pretend I was gonna we're gonna fuck with Boss Man, right? Where I was just gonna straight up be like, I should just all this bald talk, we're just shaming bald people, and I'm like, you guys, I'm right here. Um, I wanted to call him and just straight up be like, you know what? All this bald talk feels insulting. I quit. I was like, it might be funny just to fuck with him a little bit via phone call. Dude, should he's going to be bald. I don't think he understands. He keeps trying for it. Uh, How many times can he, he throw his hair on the line Cam, for a bet? Cam, Cam, is a it, bitch. Is it, be uh, the, the bet was if the Timberwolves advance past the first round, he shaves his head uh, and goes on a darkness retreat? Well, the, the, the shaving the head was from the wild last year. I know, but he threw it in with that but one, he, didn't he? Yeah, I don't know, but he is definitely <laughs> he going on a darkness retreat. He wants to do it. Why, what's I up with that? He does. I don't really know. My five-year-old is calling me throughout the entirety of this podcast. <laughs> um, can't, like, I, I don't understand what it is because he's done it for four different sports now, right? He goes, he does I'll it. shave my head for whatever. He's done it for every wild playoff appearance since 10K started, too. Yeah. That's the best It part. doesn't make sense. <laughs> they, they just won't win. It's if like, you hey, want to be Josh Dobbs, just be Josh Dobbs. Yeah, just <laughs> shave your head. Well, I you mean, know what's frustrating is, you know what? I, I think I respect him more than both of you two, and here's okay. why. Because I pitched in the last episode. I was like, do you guys want to have a jacked off? And you guys didn't want to get jacked <laughs> off I want to get fellas. jacked off with the fellas. Jack would get jacked off with me. First yeah. of all, we already... I don't remember this, and uh, duh. You, want to tell, I, you said I Cam, said November, no. and I was like, "Do you want to like we get body shamed? Should we get jacked and have a jacked off with the fellas?" And oh, you were just and like, oh, yeah, yeah. I said no because that's a lot of fucking work. <laughs> I that's told Jack I about that, and he just started laughing. <laughs> Let's get jacked. Off, <laughs> He's just guys. like I was like, "Hey, we're gonna get we're gonna have a jacked off with the boys," ja- and he just laughed. He's jacked. Like, okay. Print the shirt, jacked off with the boys. But anyways, back to John Haynes. Definitely great five facts. We appreciate you, Cam, for Hines. that one. Hines, Haynes, Haynes. Uh, Haynes. Six, sixth fact is. N- Fact: His name is pronounced Heinz, not Haynes. It actually wouldn't. It's more <laughs> Minnesotan and more on par for this podcast that we just completely just butcher his name. That is kind of what well, you do best, Jack Hayes. Well, it's it kind of makes me sad though because we now have a head coach that doesn't like end with an O or have any like nickname where we can go. You mm. know, I guess we could call him Hino, and I saw Seth Topol do that, and I was like, I don't know. If what I'm about loved. High Man? Can we call him High Man? Well, it's it's more of the bit <laughs> where we go. You know, before it was uh, four in a row for Mike Yo, mm. and then it was four in a row for Boudreaux, and then mm. it was four in a row for Dino, and now we don't have anything to say. That's my High Man. What about Heiner? That's what we do. That no. four in a row for Heiner. I think I nailed it. Print the shirt right now. That's my High Man. That's my hymen. That's my hymen. Don't pop it. Don't Don't pop it. Don't pop it. Don't. (laughs) Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Um, But anyways, the the one thing that uh, John John Hines. Hines. Oh my! Now we we all butchered (laughs) the high man. Uh, He actually one of the things that I I remember seeing. He was on the he was on radio with uh, Barrero, I believe. Where he ended up talking about how he approaches the game and whatnot as well too as a coach, or Barrero highlighted his interview, whatever. Um, but he was talking about how he likes to have the players set the tone in this, so we're actually mm-hmm. seeing that. Oh, no, we from are. A player standpoint, I think John might be the Mike McDaniel's of the NHL, right? And soon yeah. enough, we're going to see him in the tracksuit. We're going to see him in the oh, in the Eric Jordans. Vapes? We're going to see, gonna see him yeah, the vapes. vaping right behind the bench. <laughs> how great would that be? Is he that cool? Yeah, I, I mean, dude, he. I, what I like the most about this hire is he's not afraid to say, "Hey, 
we're gonna start our first line at the start of a hockey game. Is that okay with everyone? Like, <laughs> uh, it seems like Everson always would just like let's line match from the start. Yes. No. Put put a, put your fucking best line out there and 100%. let's play hockey. What are we doing here? God. Well, and shout out Seth as well too. We had, actually ended up listening to him talk about this as well too. Is the one thing that we've seen in the major major difference is that guys are earning their ice time. Yes. That was his his key yes. point, which I which is correct. That's how it should be. That's how a locker room should be run. Um. I hate to say this, but this means that like when Freddie Goudreau is playing, he's not going to get as much ice time mm-hmm. because obviously, like he was Dino's boy. Yeah, I love I love Johnny or Fred. I'm sorry, Freddie Goudreau. I'm a huge Freddie hockey guy, but I also understood. I'm not delusional. Right. I understood the other side of things. We're like, yeah. yeah, he plays entirely too much, and I mean, he's been playing well. So you're seeing him in a more limited role mm-hmm. is actually benefiting Freddie Goudreau. Right, and that third line looks great. Mm-hmm. I mean, in I don't really know what tweaks we can make right now. We're not completely healthy, are we? No, no, no. On the no, forward no. end of the mm-hmm. ice, I don't think we're completely healthy. I can't remember who's out there. We got one guy out. And... I mean, Shaw's out for life. He's well, yeah, Jesus. Shaw's done Who is this? Why is Maroon uh, playing? Oh, it. never mind. Hartman's back, and he's yeah. on the fourth line now, and they moved. They kind of bumped Maroon up to the third line. So I don't hate the lines, how they're built right now. I mean, why is – I know we all love Hartman, but why were we so afraid to get put him in the role that he's – Best at, I mean, I, kind of, kind of playing that rat hard nose hockey. He's yeah. with two talented skaters, right? I mean, it's so strange because it was. I mean, I think it was the fact that we. I don't under. I don't understand. We tried out Ecker right in that mm-hmm. top line role. He's not a true number one center. I hate to say no. that. I think he can He's a be perfect number two. Yeah, yeah. I, I and once again, love Ecker. I am yeah. never going to say anything bad about Ecker. Oh, I'll say some stuff bad about Ecker, but it's really hard to find it. Um, it is. It and is. so this is the one where it's like, he's not a true number one center. Neither was Hartman, but we've already tried out Ecker at yeah. that top role. That doesn't yeah. mean he can't go back to it, obviously, right. but we've tried it out. It wasn't working. You tried out this guy for maybe way too far oh, long gosh, of, a, yeah. of a sample size, but at the time, you think That's about last had. year, right? Mm-hmm. Who's, who was going to take that We didn't have spot? anyone. You want to throw <laughs> Freddie Goudreau up no. there? No, he's not going <laughs> to no. be your first line center anyways, even though I didn't mind him on that first line no, but... because it freed up so much for Zucky and, and Cap. But um, And also, bad look on me. I need to say this real quick okay. that I'm a bit of a dipshit because we talked about moving Marco up to um, the up to that top line that center. That's my next thing I was gonna say. Right. And this is the thing we talked about it. Like there is going to be a sacrifice where someone's gonna have to play back on that de- defensive side of things. What I didn't take into account is that we would actually have our defense play defense so you yeah. don't have to worry about that yeah. nearly as much. Yep. Shocker. I didn't think that could be fixed. Yeah, I was we, wrong. We couldn't have been more wrong about Rossi on that first line. I know. That first line, hey we got great. we got a good first line now. That's and it's perfect for us because there you go. Mm-hmm. That's your first line for the next yeah. two, three years now. So mm-hmm. let's just buckle in. And you got your your second line all but built too. You yeah. need one more winger on the opposite side of Boldy, and that line set. And now we're talking, you know, good hockey. We got good defensemen. Brock Faber, holy shit, dude! Yeah, Ooh. <laughs> that guy. Buzzing. He, I mean, he's not going to win the Calder. No, but he should be in the. He should be top five consideration, no doubt in my mind. I mean, he's playing that well. Despite what our social media says, he's not going to win the call. No, no. <laughs> Which, yeah, by, sure. but on the record, we want to make something very, very clear that very, very clear that not everything that you see on the on social yes. media is us. No. By the way, I don't agree with a lot of the stuff that a we put lot. out. There. I think the only thing that I do agree on the back end is that we should just call Rossi Ross. Yeah, I love that. You just <laughs> got, imagine getting dominated by a Ross. I know a Ross. He could probably kick my ass, but I wouldn't admit it. No. Ross is a – just run Ross. I like that because I've been looking for a nice way to say that on the pod. Is like if you want to hear Cammer, mine, and Marlo's opinions, you listen to the pod. Yes. Because there's not too often we're going to be spouting on Twitter. or yeah. You might see a meme here and there from us, mm-hmm. but – when you're seeing the Twitter account, we have two prime suspects for that. So we'll <laughs> it's, e- it's either horny or desperate. Yeah. It's one of, that means it's one of two people. And we, just, we just all know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> but we love them, and they're a big part of the team, too. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Follow us. Um, Wild Takes <laughs> Wild Follow takes us 10K. to not see our opinions, but yeah. listen to us on here to can, hear our opinions. Can I ask a, a question going back to the coaching thing real quick? So, yes. obviously, one of the questions that I had, something's going to give. We're eventually going to start losing games if people are going to lose their patience. But... But outside of that, does this reflect – I've always wondered this side of things because in my head it's always no. Mm-hmm. It's always no. With Dean being toasted, getting gotten rid of, fired, and the team performing, does that look bad to other potential like people who are looking for a coach, looking to switch things up? Do you think that – in the past it's always been no, but do you think no. it looks bad to the fact that this team has – it's been a 
switch, like a night and day. Obviously, teams I think bounce. if it extends, yes, That's, because yeah. I, you know one thing Dino was doing is he's so he was so stuck in his ways with his team. You watch what Hines is doing with the defensemen. I mean, Faber and Brodine are out there with Kaprizov almost every fucking shift, mm-hmm. every shift. And you know what? That's good because I talked about it with Jack in the last pod. Kaprizov in the offensive zone is where he thrives, and mm-hmm. that's a no. Everyone knows this. They're not really shocking anyone. <laughs> Breaking saying news. That. <laughs> but you had him out there with Johnny Mid and fucking Johnny all Mid. these terrible defensemen on the back end, and he was stuck in his defensive zone. Of course he's not going to look like the player he is. No. Now he's in the offensive zone, and people are like, oh, Kaprizov's back. And, yeah, I mean, I really love what he's doing with our defensemen, pairing him up with the forwards, because it's a whole team game. You can't yep. just go, I'm going to run my defensive pairs and run my forward pairs, and whoever's out there yeah. is out there. Dis- no. I mean, despite the fact that like the bulk majority from like a defensive standpoint is just like quick passes out sure, or stretch sure. passes. But they're you, jumping up you in still the play have to have, now. You still have to have oh, chemistry, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, you see uh, Middleton, our boy Middleton, mm-hmm. he's lights out again. Like, yeah. And part of that is actually getting Spurgeon back and playing more, but they're jumping up in the play, and if it's one of them, it, it's either or. It's mm-hmm. never just like, okay, Middleton's jumping up. No, no, no. It's both of them if they need to. And yeah. It looks like a much better brand of hockey. It looks like wild hockey. For two weeks, we were sitting there watching the wild, and it was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> what am I watching right now? Which this, I, is, this is crazy. Which I'm also glad that you brought up Middleton solely because I did say that once he shaved his mustache, it was going to grow back. We're going to see a new Middleton. <laughs> I was right. Credit to yeah. me again. This is a lot of credit to me. It I'm always my is. Fiance I, what do you mean it always is? <laughs> You're That's, always saying that. This is the best <laughs> I've ever looked. My fiance texts me this morning. She goes, wow, Jake Middleton has a fantastic mustache. I'm like, hey. Watch it. Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. Guess what else? Earth is flat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> duh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's in going back to. I love the fact that we blew in, in our chat as well too. That we blew uh, Voss's mind that he was 27 years old. She's like, no. It's I feel like not we true. blow her mind way too much. She didn't know what a bucket was at the beginning of the year, and yeah. we were like, Voss, not you, a hockey guy. Yeah, not a hockey guy. So, <laughs> no. Also calling the Coyotes Cup contenders. That. Ooh, yeah. You want to dive into that one? That's a low we no, I mean, we could talk about teams we got to jump and yeah. to to make you know make up some ground because we did win four in a row <laughs> and we only gained two games in the stand or two points in the standings mm-hmm. because everyone else is winning too. But we've won four in a row. We're gonna have some work to do, and the teams in front of us don't look that great. I mean, no. St. Louis, mm-hmm. Nashville, Calgary's in front of us. I'm not really worried about those three teams. Yeah, and I mean the even Arizona. I'm, the only team I'm somewhat worried about there is Nashville for whatever reason. That team their is, goalie. That team's feisty. No, they always are. Uh, yeah, and. Yeah. ROR, credit to Marlowe. Sick as fuck. Credit he is. I watch him every game he plays because Marlowe got him on my team. I would have loved to see um, him. That's three points. By the way, me. update, 7-0. and all. Hey, he was a former Wild player, too. Cameron's a true hockey guy. I don't know if you caught that. Yeah, yeah he's 7-0. and all. Ought to be 8-0. Cam, Wondering did you know so Ryan O'Reilly was a Wild member for 30 I, seconds? Yeah. Does that? Yes, that's actually, the jersey you should get. That's, that's the was, jersey. What, what, what was that God, involved what in trade? a trade? Uh, was that the, uh, that was, it was him to... It was part of the Toronto. Yes, it was him thing. to Toronto. Yes, yes, because and we were basically a cap piece. Yes, in that trade. Yep. And then they I took do. Reeves. I do know that. Not a big deal. I don't Ryan want to talk O'Reilly, about that. Best captain in Minnesota Wild history. You heard it here first. True. Which, speaking of which, hockey guy eight no. Should we dive into the Cam's hockey guy question of the week? Oh yeah. The Colt like... Cam's Colt. Wait, can put, put, I guess put your can up. It's Cam's hot. Cam's cultivated CBD hockey guy question of the day. Brought to you by Cultivated CBD. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh, as you guys know, I am a very novice beer league hockey player. I'm okay. still learning how to stop. Newsflash. I, I can't figure it out. Part of the reason, fully admit it, I'm a pussy. I'm scared. I'm okay. scared to stop. But one thing I did, I want to know. I just got my skate sharpened. Was I dumb for changing my skate blade from a half to a five-eighths in hopes that I can stop better or easier? Wait, so clear, clear, because funny enough, I ran a pro shop for three years, so Mm -hmm. I actually know a ton about this. Can you rephrase that last part? Were you so I was you did it to try to get yourself to stop better? Well, like to have more control, like and to like make it easier to learn how to stop. No, someone told me to do that. No, that's bad. That person's a moron. That's less of a blade, right? Yes, you're you're going to a flatter hollow. Yeah, I do feel like I can move a lot better and I can change direction way faster, which is great. Yeah, yes. And I have for stopping. No, I feel like I have more control, but. (laughs) Stopping yet. Yeah, now, to break it down for you, for any, any of those who are not hockey people and don't quite understand what the hell we're talking about, like you just want to talk about the Minnesota Wild, this is a hockey guy question. 
essentially how it works is a half inch is, is your standard flat. It's incredibly sharp. It's on the sharper side of the spectrum than it is on the duller side of the spectrum. Um, and so essentially cam drop down to a duller side of the things with the intentions of learning how to stop. Dropping your hollow is the smartest thing that you could possibly do. I skate on an inch and a half, which is as flat as you could possibly go. Okay. And I glide like a motherfucker. It's less effort. I can stay fat. It's the best thing in the entire world. Cam for the attention of stopping. That's dumb. Great idea. I love okay. that very, very much. But if it's, it's solely for the intent of stopping, no, that's not part of the, work. It's it. That's all. That's all on you. You just got to get your lessons from Darby in. I, I do. Okay. I do have to say, I'm glad to hear that you are having more control in the ice. That's a uh, that's a good yeah, step. Yeah. It feels great. It's like, a good I, step. I was like the first time I skated on. I'm like I could literally turn like right good. away. That was hey, man. I mean, I can, in a few years, Cam, you're going it, to – it's amazing. It's kind of like Jake's golf game. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be you with hockey. So I can uh, – I can like, I can't do the hockey stop or anything. I can stop if I, like, quickly go in a circle. It looks like a fucking figure skater. <laughs> yeah. But I can stop that way. looks like I he's trying to transition yeah. to defense. Yeah. No, I'm just I stopping. You, like, I got that stop, going like for me. You're on, you're on roller skates. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would or die. pizza stop, like a fucking – <laughs> I tried to pizza stop once, and I almost fucking Oh, got dude, I could concussion. just imagine your ankles fucking curving it was in on camera. Cam's terrifying. a French fry guy. He's oh. never pizza in his life. Nope. It's just French fries. That's the same thing. I, I went skiing once. Like mm-hmm. I did. I went skiing <laughs> in high school, and it was fine. But then I went skiing with a buddy who was, you know, we went on like a blue square or whatever. Mm-hmm. I tried to pizza stop. Dude, I almost landed in fucking Anoka. Yeah. It was man. terrifying. <laughs> I don't want to land and then, there. And then I like would just bomb every slope. And I like, if I hit somebody, I'm fucked. I was going down the hill yelling at people, telling them get out of the way. <laughs> you should imagine Cam, this fucking tall ass going down on some skis and kids in front of him. That's get so out of dumb. the way. It's so dumb because right now I have, I'm one of the tallest people on the ice and I look like I should be able to play hockey and I fucking can't stop and I look like a goon, but it's great. <laughs> I'm so, getting there. I got a new guy at my work from New Jersey, and he was like, "He's like, do all you fuckers play hockey around here?" I'm like, "Yeah, most of us do." And yeah. he's like, "He's like looking at me. He's like, are you like a big hockey player or a small?" I'm like, "I don't know anymore, to be honest with you. I feel like that. Yeah. wider. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, man." He's like, "Yeah, if you played fucking hockey in New Jersey, you're kind of a weirdo." And I was like, eh, "I don't maybe? think that's I don't true, know. but yeah, it's just not as know. intense." I mean, we're yeah. weirdos. Yeah. yeah well. <laughs> That's what I told him. I said, just <laughs> wait till the state hockey tournament comes around, buddy. You're going to see some real weirdos. Well, speaking of weirdos and, and playing hockey, wait till UCS. So news in the in the 10K front from the Wild Takes Count. We're actually going to be in uh, a couple tournaments, hockey tournaments yes, coming are. up here as well, too. We got the Minnesotan Cup coming up. Obviously, we play in that every single year. We don't do well in that one every single no. year, but we play in it. Hey, we're improving. <laughs> is uh, is Jack Goley in that, or is Bo Pre back. Bo Pre, we're, we're, we're lo- working on a long term deal. Yep. Yeah, a long term deal with him. Uh, we might need to scout some actual hockey players. Uh, is Jack skating out? Uh, is he the I don't think Jack's coaching. been coaching. Yeah, he's yeah. lost a coach. coach. Well, yeah. I didn't know if he was skating out because then I could step on up to the head coach. I'll Whoa. still be the assistant. That's fine. <laughs> Cam, Cam's but looking I was, for a job. I was just trying to do my best Darby Hendricks I, I, and I, I do know slide on up. Jack does want to play goalie, but he said he doesn't want to play for our team because we have, you know, Jake, Cody, Bo Pre. But he's like, if I could create another team of other players i would play goalie for them i'm like hey man do it do it but we're gonna miss you as head coach rivalry cam cam can snap a good clipboard though i think oh yeah (laughs) well if you want cam you can come out we'll give you the permission to to head coach the u.s pond hockey championship uh tournament as well too we'll be out there playing in that one representing ten thousand takes you'll see if come check it out it's a fun weekend if you've never been a part of it as well too uh games friday saturday sunday and it goes spans over two weeks as well too so beer garden where's it at again it's on lake phelan uh as well too so not too far from uh from most people are you in the market for a head coach I literally you just. just said well, it. I, I I know I know you just said that, but like Jack's not playing, so like I'm trying to just make sure I don't step on any Bruh. fucking. You know, toes Jack here. Jack can be the assistant for that tournament. We could we could have a dual head coach, or we could do co head coaches. Okay, I love fine. that. As long as we don't have fucking Andy, because in the Minnesota can... Cup, Andy was technically a coach in quotes, and he was just chirping everyone and yeah. screaming. I'm like, yeah. dude, this isn't the league. Well, that's pretty good coaching. That's that's <laughs> the Tortorella method. Well, it was. Think about <laughs> it. He's just like he's just bringing our Dude, self-esteem. Down. And he was no, I no, got no. He was, by a kid in that tournament too. A little fucking like eight-year-old kid standing on the I boards. Love that. Marlo fed me. I mean, he couldn't have put the fucking puck on a more of a silver platter. Stretch. And for some reason, I don't know if maybe the pass had a little too much zip to it for yep. me. Probably, <laughs> honestly, we were mine. we were like ten feet apart. But he he gave it to me wide open net, and I just kind of fanned on it and sent a little <laughs> we, flubber. I wheel back around to skate to the bench to change because you got to change after that. Like you mm-hmm. can't stay on the ice. So I change, and this kid standing right there in a Matamita sweatshirt goes, "You fucking suck." And I'm like, 
Fair enough, kid. I'm <laughs> just staring at him like, damn, dude. Have we heard anything about a boot hockey tournament again? Or uh, no, not? nothing yet. I, I, can I say something real quick? Yeah. As a father of two, um, you should be allowed to hit a child at some point. <laughs> like, okay. that should just be okay. Welcome to 10K Domestic. Some kids deserve to be hit. <laughs> Cut that. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stick tap, take a lap. Um, yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> a great transition. Hell of a transition. Holy I've fuck. never seen a better transition. Oh uh, Stick tap, take a lap. <laughs> Zooch, what is your stick tap, take a lap? Uh, this is, I, I usually don't talk this guy up, but I'm going to. PJ Fleck, we're going to give you a stick tap today. Uh, you've found a way to keep every single starter besides, well, Okay, obviously the ones going to the draft, you're not going to keep them, seniors graduating. But 16 out of our 24, 22 starters are coming back for next year. We lose the quarterback. I think that's pretty fucking good, considering I saw about 7,000 people enter the portal over the last few days. Um, PJ, you kept a good chunk of that core intact, and you went out and got a quarterback. Good for you. Good for you not settling. Maybe Kelly McManus didn't even want to stay, but great on you for not settling because I'm – couldn't have watched another season with that guy you starting kept, for us. You kept Daniel Jackson, you kept Zach Evans, and you kept Ariante Ursary to yeah. tackle. And those are the three probably biggest pieces. Zach Evans is questionable because Newman actually looked pretty good. Well, but Darius Taylor, either way, too. I mean, you yeah. got, you, I mean, we got guys. Or I meant Darius it. Taylor, my, my fault. No, you good, you good. But, yeah, I mean, I think keeping those three, as, as well as keeping mm-hmm. your running back room intact for the most part, mm-hmm. is, is pretty good. Yeah, so good on you, Fleck. Yeah, <laughs> another W for Baldman. I'm going to take credit for that one as well, too. That's four for me. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if they win their bowl game. He's, he's No be, shot. No, no <laughs> chance, dude. That's That's my uh, my take a lap is Brett McLean. McLean? Ooh, McClellan? Yep. Okay, you got to break this down for me, too, because I, I remember um, you said this, but I haven't watched. Okay. I legitimately haven't so watched So apparently he's not playing the kids down in Iowa. Mm. We've had – I'd have to go back and look. The uh, kids are Masters, not Kyle Masters hasn't yeah. seen any ice for two weeks, mm. and then they just sent him down to the Heartlanders. What are we doing? That dude's a first-year AHL player. You can't just – I I understand you want to win games, and part yeah. of the development is winning games. You want those kids to feel winning. Otherwise, what, they're going to go and just have that losing feeling up in the big leagues too? It's time like, we no. get Corey Perry to Iowa. <laughs> he wants to win that bad. But the kids aren't playing much down there, and I think that is an issue. Yeah, I do. I, that tough. can't be happening. That is a problem. Especially when – all of, we've talked for years about how, oh, 2025, the kids are going to come up, we're going to have all that cap space, and it's going to work. Well, not if they're not developing in in the A. Yeah, well, I suppose the good news is at least you'll get Jesper, right? Because yeah. Jesper's playing, and he's playing out of his mind oh, as dude, well. He's, he's, next he's year he's going to be Yeah, us. he's up here next year, right? Yep, 100%. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 100% should be. One yeah. beat, he's 1B to Gustafson next year? Gustafson. Or 1A, we'll see. Yeah, unless Gus goes on and run. Yeah, it could go, I mean, if Gus falls apart, yeah, either way. Which, this is typical Minnesota fashion that we tend to pick things up to ruin our draft status at the end of the year. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, we're, just, we're tanking for, you know, Celebrini, and, and all of a sudden, well, we're not even going to get a top 15. Nope. 16 pick again. Here <laughs> <Yeah>. we go. <laughs> well, it's funny, because I don't go know if wild. you saw it. You just talked draft. Uh, the MLB just did their lottery. Oh, good God. And the Guardians jumped up from, like, what, camp 11th? Yeah. They were projected They had a 1.6% chance yeah. to get the first round. I got first the first, first, first pick. pick. Uh, and then the, the number two pick was the Reds, dude. The, they had, the, the poor Nationals, man. Yeah. They were supposed to be top three. They're 10. <laughs> they were <laughs> 10. so bad, dude. Now, it doesn't matter because none no, of these players no. will play until 2035. Yeah, but, like, but, but still, still, it is pretty funny to see. And, it, you know, it, that's that's kind of the thing. Why can't we have that look with the Wild? We right. could be like have one percent chance and get the one pick. I mean, yeah, it's a faith in the height, right? yeah. Hunter height, right? Or Heath, Hunter? How Hunter about height? him not getting yeah. a fucking invitation to Canada's? That's tough. That's tough. And then on top of that, too, what's his name out of uh, Wisconsin? Uh, the guy we drafted Wisconsin. last year. What's his, his name? name? Oh, Strammel. Strammel. Yeah, Charlie. Ooh, tough. <laughs> well, that's a little – that one's <laughs> like, hey, wow. But <laughs> the other one, uh, Riley Height, you're like, dude, he's leading the W in points and has had over 150 in his last yeah. 90 games. Okay. That seems pretty stick. good. It's pretty good. <laughs> stick tap for me. Dive right in. Um, Teddy Bear Toss Games. For in so hockey, good. those mm-hmm. are so much fun to watch. Every single, I don't know what it is. I don't ever get sick of the videos where people are just throwing stuff on the ice, whether it's uh, jerseys in Toronto, whether it's uh, octopus in Detroit, or if it's a teddy bear toss game, knowing that it goes to like it goes to something important yeah. as well. Too, I would love 
if like the imagine if like other sports adopted this like the NBA <laughs> you have a teddy bear toss at an Jesus NBA Christ. game <laughs> I, I, mean, yeah. I don't know if it's just like I don't know if people just get themselves like a little mini boner because they get to throw it over a barrier and maybe that's like the appeal of doing it at hockey <laughs> games but no other sport does that shit well, the, the, I mean the greatest thing in high school right like I don't miss a lot of things from high school but one thing I miss is chuck a puck chuck a puck like we would great. we would go we would go to the the hockey games, both boys and girls, mm-hmm. our boys team sucked, but we still went for chuck a puck. Yeah. So yeah. we would walk around the first two periods with just 700 pucks in our sweatshirt pocket <laughs> just to like win days, a fucking man. Subway $5 gift card. I love that. It was yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah that's actually a technique to it chuck, too. There, well, there's a technique. Also, my dad manages the rink for Benilde varsity games. Yeah. So when I was a kid, he'd always be like, come here. And he'd open the door for me, and I'd like like a little rat just sneak onto the edge. You're the worst. Like, <laughs> little toddler Zeus. Just I'm just sipping. like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Free so, soda I for actually, me. So, I got a Fanta. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they did do like gift cards, like a $5 gift card. One time, though, because you had to pay money to get the pucks, they did like you got a winning of the pot. So and I actually yeah. won it that time, and Hell it was like yeah. seventy five bucks, and I was like in eighth grade. I'm like, I'm rich, bitch. Yeah. It was I, the greatest thing. Ever. I remember there was ones where that's what sucked about high school is that we couldn't be a part of it. Like right. playing hockey, yeah. you, I wasn't allowed to be a part because I'm in the locker room. I'm scoring. I'm not scoring. So like, I can call, uh, <laughs> so like, I can I'm call into work goals. tomorrow if I do but, this. But there was what I what used to piss me off is when it's like you win a two liter of soda. I'm like, why am I doing this? Yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> well, like, they do it. Uh, we're looking right at CHS right now. They do at the end of Saints games the tennis ball toss. Yeah, the tennis ball. I think you were saying they got a chuck a puck going right now that looks awesome <laughs> yeah, right fuck the podcast there. let's go all for it. i want to do a chuck a puck i don't want to do anything yeah. besides a chuck a puck right let's now let's go now this let's go to a high school hockey game and just do chuck a puck dear minnesota <laughs> wide we know you listen give us the axe let us just do a chuck a puck and then we'll leave why don't the that's that's actually uh, could you imagine a bunch of drunk a guys chuck- throwing pucks in, in an yeah. nhl arena Dude, the only place it's ex- weapons. the only place it's acceptable is in arizona that's it because <laughs> oh, there's not enough people right there, there. No one can get right hurt. there yeah. yeah you got people from the 300 levels just <laughs> throwing let's go pugs. people in suites just got buckets and buckets <laughs> of, of pucks let's go to a high school game at the wooger which is where i grew up going okay mm-hmm. formerly wakota arena yep. let's just go make a content out of chuck a puck your alma mater whoop my video. alma mater's ass, Cam. Set it up. This we do best. In women's or boys? Boys. That's there must when I was there they were bad. Well they still are bad. My alma mater's even worse now. So <laughs> take a lap. Um I don't have anything really besides the fact that like why is golf so fucking expensive? Who decided golf yeah. would be expensive? And did it you is. see what they're doing with the golf balls? Yeah, that's twenty twenty eight. Are so you dumb. fucking serious? Cam, you're gonna be the best golfer in the group. What are they Let's doing? Stripe it. It's basically uh, they're dampening golf balls yes. in a sense so they don't fly nearly as far on are you a pro to say level. You can't hit a ball far? No, I'm saying you we know do you don't hit ball. the ball far. What I'm saying is you're like that's what you do well is hit the fucking ball far, cool. and it's because you have good uh, good speed on that back swing. I, the, the problem is, is that I, I have a hook, so like I'll I'll tee off <laughs> or a slice. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll tee off oh. and I fucking aim all the way to the left, and it ends up in the fairway. It's great. You should check when out, it works. You should check out the what's that called the bent banana. They'll fix that for you. Well, it's I've seen the advertise for it. It's for your weird cock. Um, <laughs> Cam, how was uh how was winter golf? Speaking of that, uh, yeah. Uh, I mentioned this on It's a Bit um, last that yesterday. Was dumb. You, you should you should probably <laughs> you should probably check It's a Bit out. Um, it's a cool podcast that me and some of my friends at 10K do. Um, but I did December golf no at, at, at Stonebrook, and it was fucking fantastic. Okay. I, I hit a ball off of a frozen lake yeah, onto that. an actual hole. It was great. I was waiting for you to. I've seen that clip before. People hit it off and they slide out. Yeah, oh, I thought oh, it was my God. God. I thought yeah. that was going to yeah. happen. 100%. That's why I was like, I was like, why did he do this? Oh, he wanted to fall on the ice, and you didn't want to fall on the ice. That's no, I, I did it because. I'm stupid, and I didn't think anyone else. You got to take a dive for content, my man. The problem is, I, I was thinking about it actually, and I got really scared because the whole time I was swinging and like waiting to like for them to press record. All I heard was the fucking ice age under me. (laughs) It was just cracking. I'm like, I got to get out of here. That was a little worried (laughs) for you, Cam. But no, it was fun. December golf is a great bet. Just some squirrel somewhere trying to get his nut in, and Cam just falls right through. I'd be all for that. (laughs) Whoops. All right, Cam. What do you got for us? Uh, Stick tap is Liberty football. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that they are my second team for football and basketball. I love Liberty, and we have made it to a New Year's Six Bowl. Hell Best yeah. G5 team in the conference. Sorry, Renz, fellow, or uh, he's a Tulane fan. They lost Oof. to SMU. So Liberty is now in the Fiesta Bowl against Oregon. Um, I think they might win. I might be biased, but <laughs> Tulane beat USC last year, so any, anything can happen. So Liberty football is my stick tap. Uh, Sammy Stacks actually will be there. Sammy Stacks. Sammy Stacks. He's, I will say one thing. to when I, the Fiesta Bowl. Ooh. Initially when I saw that, I, I want Liberty to win because Liberty's kind of, they're kind of sick of shit. But yep. 
I just don't see that game being close. I, I think do. Oregon probably whoops them. But I'll tell you hey, right we'll now. We'll see. Bo Nix, I Bo Nix is know, old. Yes, if you don't know, he is so old. If, if you I don't, don't know the 25. name Caden Salter, you will after the Fiesta Hell Bowl. Yeah, let's go. And Liberty, if they had the 12 team playoff this year, they would have been in the playoff, and they might make it next year too. Is it going to 12 or 8 Going to 12 year. next year. Next year? Yeah, oh, I thought so. I thought it was 8. But I thought it was 12. I think well. it's 12. Um, and then my take a lap is anyone who hated the Kalen Addison trade, now to be fully transparent, <laughs> oh. to, to, be, to be fully transparent, I was one of them. Because yeah. remember on a previous episode, I said that we will regret it. False. <laughs> False. I do False. remember he said False. that. False. Circle here. Hey, cr- False. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Credit to you. Credit to you. Yeah, I'm taking yeah, you're take- I love that. Respect. I, I, I do that all the time. I usually yeah. am not wrong, but I do that all the time. I, I'm a man of my word. Props to me. Credit to us. It's credit Shit, to me. Am. Credit to uh, us. But... I don't just know if you watched Pam. if you just watched the last Sharks game. You probably didn't because fucking nobody did. But oh. they got Kalen Addison got benched. Yeah, he did. Like everyone was saying, did he oh, he, really? Like and, everyone and the was coach like, called ass out. Yeah. Wow. Everyone was like, oh, he's that. playing pretty well. I'm like, yeah, he's on the Sharks. Anyone can play well on that team if they have a brain. Um, and he so he had a blinded a blind backhand pass, let up a breakaway, a shorthanded goal, just completely fucked him. <laughs> so they sat him for the rest of the third and overtime. <laughs> which yeah, which reminds me, t- they said, yeah, he didn't have his best stuff tonight, and he knows what he's got to be doing, and that's not it. <laughs> Do you guys have that sentimental touch where if a player leaves, you love them, no matter where they go? Mm-hmm. I don't have that. Not not every time. Not every time. Some. Kalen, some. I really don't. Yeah, um, same. I thought I would, but after like watching them, I, you know I don't. No, I actually don't think I do either, thinking about I, it, because I thought it was going to affect me with Nino. Didn't. Yeah. Thought it was going to affect me with well Zucker. When, Zucker, I like because he's a friend of the brand. Yeah. You know that's that's different. But any of those other guys we got rid of is for like, hockey. I I really don't. Zucker, I do. Obviously, like well, you said, right, friend yeah. of the brand. Baseball, I really do. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't with a rise because I love Pablo Lopez and we won that trade. Uh, but like when Brian Dozier left the Twins, super sad. Mm. Cheered for him I all could, the time. Yeah, hockey you know though, what, I hockey way, though, yeah. I don't. I do it with other teams. Ryan O'Reilly is someone I'll cheer for. I sure. think it's, it's only if I really love their game. Ryan O'Reilly is a person I will always cheer for. Claude Giroux used to be that kind of guy, but he was with Philly forever. Um, and even through Ottawa, I was like, he's not going to be good there, but good for him. That's, um, I know. That was a weird Certain sign. players that I'll there's do one, it for. There's even, one hockey player off the top of my head I could think of that I still cheer for no matter where he goes, and it's Brent Burns. That's about it. I thought that would be the same for me, too. Yeah, once he went to Carolina, I was like, eh. No, I, I, I still me. follow him. I, no, still like a, it was a Koivu fact that he went even, to the Sharks. Koivu yeah. like, didn't do anything. He yeah, went to when Columbus. Ko- I, was like, eh. I was like, okay, meh, cool. He's at the end of his career, whatever. I, to be fair, he's probably in Columbus just like, eh, I hate this. <laughs> he was. Yeah, he literally, was. what did he play fucking a game? Yeah, and then who, he was like, eh. Yeah, and he got, well, he got hurt, and then he's like, I'm done. Yeah, uh, he's well, just, I'm sure nobody is, and everybody that's ever been been in Ohio was just like, eh, yeah, this is Ohio. Uh, it's, who would have I thought it's, that. it's not all the jazz that it was talked up to be? The, the only person that that's so not much. is uh, Johnny Goudreau, um, oh, man. Johnny Hockey. He's like, eh, with a fucking bowl of caviar because he got paid. Not <laughs> really, though. Why can't not really, but it? not he really. He just was just like, I'm bored. I, I don't want to sit here anymore and wait. Uh, who? What's the, the offer? And Columbus? Pat, cool. Patrick Line is just like totally uh, – content with just being mid his whole life oh my yeah. god like, that's wow. just ohio that's Dude, how ohio. crazy is that you, you probably remember that series against the jets in 2016 was it when he was like a rookie mm-hmm. and he was lighting he, he yeah. was on the every time he's on the ice you're like fuck you're like, like no. this no this he had the mckinnon effect yes. in a sense where you're like no 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 yes and he, uh, now he ever since that year after that it was like wow this guy imagine really imagine being a professional athlete and you make millions of dollars, and you're like, oh, I can just go experience the nightlife and have fun in the city that I play in, but you go, you play for fucking oh, play Winnipeg for cool. and Columbus. Oh, Tough. Tough. I'm surprised he's not look. doing heroin. Oh. <laughs> what are we doing here? Good point. I mean, I, I, I can't argue with it. Yeah, you're right. It's with it's, one of the fellas outside. I don't yeah. know. Oh, the fellas. Um, Throwing rocks at buildings. Good one. <laughs> All right. Wild take? Wild take. I think we... Uh, we Who's got anything who? else on the docket? I think we've hit every I note. We've covered just about everything that we, we need to We can talk about cover. real quick, um, basically, just who we play the next, this coming up. Sure. Until I think we're, uh, okay, let me try to see if I remember. Let's see how my memory is. We go to Vancouver Lost. Thursday, and then we go, the ne- very next day on Friday, we play Oilers. the Oilers, Win. and then we play, uh, fuck, Seattle on Lost. Sunday. I think we go one and two. Mm-mm. I think I think, uh, I think, I think that, we beat Seattle. You I don't think, think we beat is, Seattle? I think we lose to Seattle. The, it's mm. a three-game road stretch. Uh, the Canucks are fucking good for some reason. Um, it's a the honey the honeymoon phase might be over. Here's what I think. I think we get the win against uh, Vancouver. 
right? I do That's too. a game one, Vancouver. I do too. Vancouver, mm-hmm. Oilers, Seattle. I think we get the win against Vancouver. I think we lose against the Oilers. Only because that's Minnesota. Because what's going to happen is the graphics are going to get built. Oh, set six, seven, whatever. How many in a row are they going to win? And then we lose to the Oilers. It's like, oh, the Wild aren't who they thought they were. Um, Ready for a hot take? And then I think we win Seattle. 2 I have a opposite. Ooh. I think 2-0-1. Oh, I think we go 1-2, and two and then we come back at home. We'll talk again before then and play the Flames <laughs> and just sewer them. Okay. We're, we're going to be like, we went on a four-game win streak. I think we're going to play 500 hockey for a little bit and then make a push for the playoffs. Oh, Cammer. I'm just being, well, this, I'm being well, a realist. My wild take. 16th overall oh, What's your wild take? My wild the perfect take. transition. The perfect transition. Your Minnesota Wild are going to the playoffs again, people. God, and You stole mine. It, it, it kind of sucks, too, because I did say at the beginning of the season we'd be a wild card team. So now it's like, okay, wow, now your wild take is they're going to be a wild card team? Like, Yeah, I think we're a wild card team, and uh, I stand by it. I think that they upset one of the one seeds when they make it as a mm. wild card team. Because if you look back at the wild, every time they make the playoffs, it's and win a series. When mm-hmm. we've won series, it's been as a wild card against the one seed. Every time. When, we're, when we get the 2-3... In that new format, we've lost every single fucking time. Mm-hmm. Every time. And, you know, maybe just getting in as a wild card helps. Because they got good goaltending. That, the, that's a key. That is a, that's a big key. The so, worst format in professional sports, It's by the terrible, way. man. Uh, it's terrible. I might as well just throw mine in there. I had literally had it written down. I have that's the fine. same exact wild take. Cool. John Hines <laughs> leads us to the playoffs, and Let's we go. win a playoff series. Oh, yeah, man. That's I literally what I had. I Can I it. say that mine is the exact? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I would have kissed you. Just pander right off. I would, here's what I'm going to say. I'm actually going to go. My wild take is I'm going to dive into. I think it's a Jake Bringold bit. I know you're going to hate this, Cam. <laughs> I think it's me agreeing with him. that I think it was him who said this stat line. that we. Oh, no, it was Zane. Zane. That we lose a goalie every or a, a, a head coach every four years. So Zane I'm going to say four years on the clock starting now. Ooh. Gone. Okay. Gone off this <laughs> roster. Oh, okay. I love it. Get him so, out. So December 6th. Of twenty twenty seven. Mark this calendar date or right mark it right now. The put it put an alarm in your he in know. your phone to have it go off and you don't even put context in it. Just have it yeah. go off and you're gonna be like, huh? For the And then you're gonna look at the ESPN thing, John Hyde <gasps> fired. <laughs> oh for my the God, record, uh, right again. Just another clear, point for Marlo. <laughs> just clear some air, love the take because love Zane, hate Jake. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to wrap the show. I, I love how everyone <laughs> says that too. They're like, Jake, yeah. <laughs> I would love to just like we should do that, set up a crowd so, uh, set up an event. Everyone comes in, everyone hangs up, Jake, and then at the end, as they're leaving, we give them little poll cards just to check off. <laughs> Did you enjoy your time? Do you, do you believe you need to see a therapist? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even have Jake an option catching, for no. <laughs> Jake's catching strays for no reason right now. <laughs> I love the guy. We'll take a bullet for him, but like, God damn it, Jake. Just in God. the leg, like not anywhere. Oh, no, no, no. We're not, I'm not taking a bullet to the brain. Are you crazy? No, hell no. I'll take like a bullet to the big toe. That's fine. Okay. The Ooh, Stewie bit, toe? shoot each other in the feet. And... Actually, maybe not the big toe. I you ever stub again. your toe? Imagine getting shot, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. That oh. sounds wild. <laughs> I feel like it's easier to do toe surgery, though, right? Just throw a new one on there. I don't care. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm going to the I'm not a guy. You ever break your toe? They're just like, sorry. <laughs> yeah, look, anything. You're, my hand, they <laughs> looked like, at my thumb that I yeah. broke. They are like, hmm. Look, that sucks. Hey, here's I, a splint, and you'll be good in six weeks. My back oh, was falling okay. out, and for the most part, they're like, Phew. Sorry. I'm Everything, fucked. dude. That sucks. Any issue nowadays. You'll I'm, sit in the ER three hours and then go in. They'll be like, oh, I'm convinced I haven't that, seen this. I'm convinced that doctors just go through like 10 years of school just to tell people they're fucked and there's nothing they could do while they rake in like 300K a year. <laughs> Take a lap, doctors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Wild Takes. We appreciate your listen. Make sure you head over to our socials as well to check out Wild Takes 10K on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Interact with us. Come chat with us. We always want to hear your opinions and we always want to hear your wild takes unless they're just stupid. Don't give it to us. <laughs> uh, make sure you tune in next week when we come back. Go wild.